Dear Taurus, welcome back to Saturated in Love VIP Tarot, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. I'm back with another weekly message, dear Taurus. Hope all is blessed in your world. Hope all is well. Hope you're keeping your positive mind frame going because Lord, the world these days. Oh, dear Taurus, I'm going to start you off with a lover spread using my beloved lover's path tarot just to get some insight as to where you a soulmate partner friend crush stand okay it will not resonate for everyone so before you hit that dislike button <laughs> please be sure to check out your moon rising and venus videos as well thank you dear taurus for coming with me on this journey per usual Boop, if you're new please click subscribe so you don't miss a video Dear Taurus, thank you, Holy Spirit, for the message ahead of the message, for using me as a vessel on behalf of Dear Taurus. We have Divine Feminine Energy, Divine Masculine Energy. What joins you souls together? What might keep you apart? And the ultimate potential of the pair. Let's go. Divine Feminine. Five of Cups, sadness in Divine Feminine's world. Emotionally feeling down. Very lonely, very sad, very unfulfilling energies here. No me gusta, no me gusta. Mm -mm -mm. Divine Masculine, magic. Divine Masculine feeling magical. <laughs> feeling like he can manifest his destiny. And you guys, you could be a divine masculine and be a female. Don't get it twisted. I have to explain this in every video because some people just don't know. We human beings are comprised of both light and dark. <laughs> okay. Feminine and masculine energies. But anywho, if you relate as a divine masculine, you're feeling magical right now. Like you can manifest destiny. Like you can make things better for yourself and others. So the divine feminine feeling very sad, divine masculine trying to make divine feminine happy. That's what I think. And what joins you souls together? Illusion, my goodness. Woo, illusion draws you together. So, wow, you see how I was talking about light and dark? So I see that the dove here is white. Then I see like another bird here is dark, right? The, the balance here. So there's an illusion that things have to be in a certain way. And I think this is why Divine Feminine feels so sad because maybe things haven't come to fruition yet that she's hoping for, okay? So there's some type of illusion drawing you souls together. Maybe you, you're you not meant to be together. Let's get more. What is the problem here? Four of Swords. Ooh, someone just feels like obligated to this relationship. Oh my goodness, is this what's happening? So Divine Feminine, you, the sad one, feel like, oh, I don't even want to be with this person anymore. Oh, I don't even love this person anymore. Oh, this person makes me sad and unfulfilled. And then your problem is that you're still in bed with said person. You, Divine Feminine, are literally still in bed with said person that does not even bring you joy and fulfillment. That is the problem. Ultimate potential though, what is the good part of this? The eight of coins. So it appears that you do work well together in terms of, you know, manifesting a home. Like you guys could live together. I really feel like I'm speaking to a an individual um, or individuals who are in a relationship already. You guys could be, you know, sharing a home, um, you know, there's something important that you all share. It could be even business partners, something that you guys share of major importance. And the divine masculine is working towards like making everything work, but divine feminine hasn't been pleased yet. And she, but she's still in bed with this person back turned towards him. But yes, if you guys try hard, work hard, you can salvage what's left of this relationship. Oh, dear Taurus. <laughs> Let's get more. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Shuffling now the sexual magic tarot to expound upon what we saw in that lover's spread. 
who's together on an illusion. Which divine masculine thinks he can make things turn around for the best? Which divine feminine is just completely unhappy with the way things are? Oh dear, Holy Spirit, I thank you for the message, for the opportunity to be here on behalf of dear Taurus. Do reach out to me for your personal readings. Those are available for a very nominal fee. Information in the description box where it always is, my lovelies. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Taurus. What does dear Taurus need to hear? What do they need to know pertaining said situation? Woo, page of chalices. Yeah, and the divine masculine is photographed here. And he appears to have been crumpling up his love letter. He doesn't know how to get through to you. I do feel like there's a divine masculine in your life for whoever's watching or you're the divine masculine watching. You're really trying to make it happen with your love. You do still have affections for said person. You, you remember how things used to be, how great they were. You're trying to get back. What helps or hinders this notion? Yes, zero the fool. There you go. You're just trying to start clean slate with said individual. You could have let down your significant other or your loved one. You could have totally let them down. And so you're trying your best to change it around. You want to be the fool and it's, it's what helps you really. So Holy Spirit is giving you a chance to start over in this situation. Well, unconscious factors at play right now. Five of Pentacles, go into the lover's tarot unconsciously. This is something you, you both may not be aware of. Five of Pentacles, lack. Traditionally, this signifies loss, lack, and poverty of some kind. A feeling of being shut out can accompany the Five of Pentacles. There may be financial difficulties, loneliness, or low self-esteem. I really feel like that stems from the divine feminine's um, part. Mental, emotional, and spiritual reserves are depleted, but this is a practical card and suggests that you can find a positive solution to your difficulties. All the fives promise change. Nothing is written in stone. The immediate future will not be easy, but your efforts will bring enduring fulfillment if you persevere. And that is so true because if you all remember in your lover spread at the top was the eight of pentacles. And I said that if you guys work towards this, it can happen. But it's going to take a lot of effort, dear Taurus. It's going to take a lot of effort to bring this back to a whole situation to where Divine Feminine is pleased. Okay, in your recent past, six of wands. Yep, this is definitely somebody you have history with. You've been together for some time. Okay, the passion was there in the recent past. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, your own energy. So I really just feel like you're feeling down, dear Taurus. Um, Could be dealing with a... Also, what do we have here? Uh, the Page of Chalices was Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Moving on, though, in your recent past, for sure, there was passion in there. You have had history with said individual for some time. At the top of the situation, Nine of Cups. Yep. You guys are so close to calling it quits on each other. There is a love there, but it's just it's been a hard time. So the nine is always when you're full of doubts and uncertainties, but success is right around the corner. If only you can persevere. The, this big theme so far is perseverance through this trying time. Perseverance. So to in order to make it work, you have to like, like literally make up your mind to work hard at it and make it work. In the near future... Seven of Pentacles, back to the Lovers Tower for you. Lots of Pentacles. So you Tauruses could definitely also be dealing with the Virgo Capricorns or Tauruses, or this is just capturing your energy so much so, very powerfully. I'd love to hear any feedback whatsoever. Seven of Pentacles, let's go. Let's go. And we have, you have planted out your garden. Yep. 
but as yet there are no fruits or flowers. You may be questioning your lifestyle, life choices, relationship, or single status. Yet the Seven of Pentacles offers you hope and reassurance. This is a period of growth, but it is taking plate out of sight. The energy you put into your life now will bring you an abundant harvest in the future. Let me tell y'all, that's what the message is, and that's your title. Thank you. The energy you put into your life now will bring you an abundant harvest in the future. Be optimistic and have faith, okay? The Taurus, the message is clear. Each card is just confirming the, the one before it. This spread is confirming the lover spread, this Celtic message. Let's go. How you view yourself? Wow, more fives, five of wands. Wow, so I can understand now that someone feels like somebody could have got cheated on is why they're super sad right now and not sure about their person. They don't trust them anymore. I see someone looking from the side at someone else having um, sexy time over there in the back. <laughs> okay, so if you were cheated on, no doubt you're feeling sad. You're feeling like, I don't know if this is going to work out. Okay, I get it. But divine masculine energy is still wanting you to stick around. Still wanting to make a change for you, the fool. A fresh start. It could be foolish, but it could also work out if you persevere, if you want it to. You got to work hard towards it, towards trusting them again. And they have to work hard at proving themselves worthy. Holler if you hear me how they view you. King of Cups, wow. So even if this divine masculine betrayed you, they view you as the king of the love of their lives. Like the, you are on a pedestal on the, on the throne of their heart. Okay? They know that you are full of love and that's why they can't fully detach themselves from you. Even if they stepped out on you. Mommy? Yes, Bob? My finger is hurting. Uh-oh, what did you do to your finger? Mommy just hurt. Okay, sweetie, you have a little bit, little bit boogers. Go get me a tissue. Oh, dear Taurus, please excuse me. Your hope or your fear? Wow, death, transformation. To die to this situation, to this person. You want to leave um, these feelings that you have of emptiness, of depleteness, of lack. The fives. You want to leave the fives um, in the past. You want to change. You want to... You want to be void of this person and this energy of feeling so unfulfilled and unsatisfied. Final outcomes, there's Taurus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Seven of swords. Wow. Lots of fives, lots of sevens. You all, it's going to take work, okay? Seven of swords. It's going to take work. Let's go. We have restlessness, mutability, and changeable conditions prevail. When signifying an individual, the Seven of Swords describes someone whose affections are volatile, as can be their commitment to the relationship. That's exactly what happened. Like, you got, you probably got, like, messed around on or something similar or relative. You just can't trust this individual anymore, and it's going to be an uphill battle. But they're still in your life right now, so there still is a chance to change it all around, okay? It says, this person is afraid of being trapped and may sometimes seem bored or withdrawn definitely withdrawn unconscious aggression or emotional betrayal are a problem if other cards affirm this interpretation so other cards definitely did uh, um, confirm it okay so again you're gonna have to work hard if this relationship is to work dear Taurus, at trusting them and they're gonna have to work hard at proving themselves worthy if anyone is interested in a personal reading, please re reach out to me. Let's get a lover's oracle. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What else does dear Taurus need to know? Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And so you're definitely facing a challenge at this time, dear Taurus. Do know, as I mentioned, dark, light, yin, yang. There is the balance that is, you know, called in our lives to appear even when we don't want it to, there's a balance. So you're going to have some darkness sometimes. And then you're going to have some light in other times. So right now, try and balance out your own energies so you can get out of the feelings of dissatisfaction and sadness. If you want this relationship to work, you have to work hard at trusting this person again. And they have to work hard at proving themselves worthy. Be blessed. Peace.